Hi there, welcome to High Tech Seals. Today I'll be teaching you all the different ways that we can measure an O-ring. Let's start with the O-ring flip chart. It's used for measuring 239 different AS568 O-ring sizes. To determine your O-ring's cross-section, place it against the legend in the bottom left-hand corner. Then, place the O-ring over the silhouettes on the corresponding page to the cross-section and move the O-ring over the various sizes until the correct size is found. Our O-ring cone measures 184 widely used AS568 sizes, ranging from quarter inch to 5 and 5 eighths inch ID. Use the notches at the bottom of the cone to determine the cross-section of the O-ring. The O-ring should not be loose in the notch. Once you have determined the cross-section, use the corresponding side of the cone to determine the size of the O-ring. Place the O-ring onto the cone and let it settle and lie flat on the cone. It should not be loose or stretched. The size will appear just under the O-ring. Our pie tape can measure AS568 O-rings on one side and metric O-rings on the other, with an ID up to 19 inches or 484 millimeters. Use the cross-section legend on the tape to determine the cross-section of the O-ring. Have the O-ring type that you're measuring facing outwards. In this instance, we're measuring an AS568 O-ring. Coil the tape with the arrows on the outside of the coil and place it inside the O-ring. Unwind the tape inside the O-ring and expand firmly. Read the sizes under the appropriate cross-section arrow. Calipers can measure both AS568 and metric size O-rings. To measure the OD and ID, it is recommended to lay on a flat surface. To ensure you get an accurate reading, do not clamp onto the O-ring, making sure not to stretch or compress it. Measure the ID of the O-ring by placing the smaller jaws on the inside. Do not stretch the O-ring like this. To measure the OD of the O-ring, place the large jaws on the outside of the O-ring. Do not compress the O-ring like this. To measure the cross-section of the O-ring, take your large jaws and lightly clamp the O-ring along the cross-section. To find an AS568 O-ring size, take the measurements you gathered and compare them against an O-ring part number table. These tables can be found on our O-ring size chart, on our O-ring design guide, on our catalog, or on our website. All of our measuring tools can be purchased through any of our High Tech Seals locations. To place an order, or if you have any questions, please contact a High Tech Seals representative. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time.